and go around. So this eelgrass is very dense here. You can see that there's a lot of yep. blades. So originally uh, the project was really to look at the habitat of eelgrass um, from all types of things. So, you know, whether it be changing climate or aquatic invasive species like the green crab or pollution or ghost gear, it could be anything. Um, but when we put in the application, DFO was really interested in us understanding a little bit more about green crab. So we said, yeah, sure. So they sent us out the Fuki traps. Um, so that's kind of where that stemmed from. So it's really been the main focus and as we're um, understanding there is a lot of green crab unfortunately more than we probably expected so when we get them out um, we do either have to freeze them or compost them um, as to make sure that they don't go back into the ocean because of how easily it is for their larvae to spread uh, with the currents. Why should people care about uh, eelgrass? Why should they care about it? Uh, it's directly linked, I guess, to the commercial fisheries. So, you know, we're in a town where, yes, we have a really great tourism industry, but we also have a really, really great um, fisheries industry uh, today and historically. It really is what built our communities. So without those eelgrass habitats, we don't have, you know, cod as a juvenile species to grow and get bigger, crab, lobster, halibut. We don't have those species and we don't have the food that they also depend on. So we really, really need to protect it and look after those habitats to really look after our commercial fisheries and us to stay around.